hello friends today we are going to study about uh, temperature temperature measurement in thermodynamics temperature since we we know that temperature is very essential part of thermodynamics it is like force and velocity of mechanics it play very very crucial role in thermodynamics so first without uh, giving uh, any further discussion we will start our topics like uh, zero law of thermodynamics this law states that uh, when a body is in thermal equilibrium with uh, another body and that body is separately with equilibrium with uh, Uh, another body separately then those uh, both bodies are in thermal equilibrium i think i have confused you guys so i will draw uh, like body a and we can say that if body a is in thermal equilibrium with body b and separately body a is also in thermal equilibrium with body c then this law states that body b and c is in thermal equilibrium with each and on uh, each other these are in thermal equilibrium so we can say in words that uh, when a body a is in thermal equilibrium with body b and also separately with a body c then b and c will be in thermal equilibrium with each other i uh, think i should write it so that you can easily absorb it when body a is in thermal equilibrium with a body b and also separately with a body c then b and c will be in thermal equilibrium with each other thermal equilibrium with each other now we will go to measurement of temperature and our next uh, point is measurement of temperature measure temperature with uh, a reference point without reference points it is not like uh, a thing which we can uh, wait uh, it is not like weight we can measure we took a reference point and from which with the help of that we measure the temperature of a body or system 
So there, there is a it is divided into this measurement uh, methods are divided into two parts. First one is uh, method we used before uh, 1954 and method used after 1954. So, method used before 1954 method in use after 19. Before 1954, we took two reference points and with the help of that, we found, uh, we found a temperature of a unknown body, uh, of a body. And after 1954, we took one reference point. This is main difference in these two methods. So, first we will discuss about, uh, we should uh, light, uh, we should later we'll discuss about uh, what we used before 1954. So, first one is here, and before 1954, let us say we have to measure temperature of a body whose thermometric property, I am using here a thermometric property. Should I discuss it before? Like thermometric property, I am. I, I, I will tell you in detail about thermometric property. Thermometric property is the property of a system or a body um, which help which help us to measure its temperature. Like uh, we know that in uh, mercury thermometer, we see the length of mercury column. In resistance thermometer, we see, uh, resi uh, we see resistance uh, as a thermometric property. It's it's same thing. I will discuss later um, more about thermometric property. Just for you, you um, you know that uh, you should know that uh, it's like uh, length uh, of a uh, um, mercury thermometer. So let us say in first one, there is a system uh, whose temperature we have to measure. Let us say at a thermometric property. Uh, first, we put our thermometer with the uh, with the contact of uh, this uh, system, and we measure its uh, thermometric property. What is its uh, reading of its thermometric property? Let us say temperature of system is theta x and its thermometric property is x. Now, we have to take two reference points. So, so, so first one, we arbitrarily choose a standard system whose temperature is known with uh, its uh, at its uh, one of a uh, thermometric property. Let us say theta of x1 at x1 thermometric property at x1 thermometric property is temperature is theta x1. So, uh, arbitrary point and it is known we have already pata hoga. so we can write at theta of x1 by theta of x equals to x1 by x again for second reference point let us uh, at arbitrary point uh, x2 its temperature is theta of x2 at arbitrary point x2 
we put our thermometer with the uh, with the system at a uh, first uh, so i am i am again uh, saying you what we do first we place our thermometer with the system and note its uh, uh, thermometric property and then for reference point uh, we put our thermometer in a uh, arbitrary chosen standard uh, system in arbitrary chosen standard system and we note that uh, reading of the temperature at that uh, standard point at two standard point so we can now theta f x2 by theta of x equals to x2 by x and by interpolation method we can say that theta of x1 minus theta of x2 is equals by theta of x equals to <coughs> x1 minus x2 by x here we can write that theta of x equals to theta of x1 minus theta of x2 by x1 minus x2 multiply with x note that this is multiplication this is multiplication sign not uh, x so try it use sign so we can see that uh, this theta of x1 is known theta of x2 is known x1 x2 is known from a standard point and uh, we have noted down x value at uh, uh, x value of the thermometer when we put it in contact with uh, the system we, uh, which temperature we have to measure and we can find out theta of x now we will discuss about uh, method in use after 1954 since 1954 we use only one reference point Since 1954, we use only one reference point, and that point is triple point of water. Now what is triple point of water? I will tell you rapidly. Triple point of water is uh, the state at which the state at which uh, ice, liquid water and water vapor coexist in equilibrium. Ice liquid water and water vapor coexist in equilibrium and uh, we know that uh, the temperature at which this uh, state exists uh, is assigned as uh, 273.16 Kelvin so we can say that uh, 
at triple point uh, at triple point its temperature is theta t and there is a constant a and this is x t is thermometric property so at triple point the thermometric property of thermometer is x t or we can say that reading of thermometer is x t and the temperature is theta t ok now we will found the value of a from the above equation it is theta t by x t then we know that temperature at uh, triple point is 273.16 kelvin by x t uh, in questions if nothing is mentioned we have to took that 273.16 from uh, by own by itself but if uh, anything is mentioned like uh, we have to remember the uh, triple points of water i will mm, discuss you later otherwise you will be confused so we have to now we have to measure temperature at theta this constant will not change a will be like that and x is thermometer property or reading of thermometer at that point so here we put the value of a from the above with the help of only one reference point that is trip, uh, triple point of water we can measure the temperature of any system or body now let i will discuss you little bit about thermometric property i will not give you definition of thermometric property you are uh, mature enough to understand it nahi samajh to bhagwan bhala kare thermometric property like uh, Uh, the it is the property of system which um, which help us or with the help uh, or with the help of which uh, we found the temperature of the system i will give you an example and you will be very much clear property and symbol for constant volume gas thermometer in constant volume gas thermometer pressure is thermometric property and symbol is p in constant pressure gas thermometer volume is thermometric property and uh, electrical resistance thermometer this is the resistance is thermometer property in thermocouple
ई एम एफ और आई शुड से थर्मल ई एम एफ इज थर्मोमेट्रिक प्रॉपर्टी मरकरी इन ग्लास थर्मोमीटर मरकरी इन ग्लास थर्मोमीटर लेंथ इज थर्मोमेट्रिक प्रॉपर्टी सो जस्ट गो गो एट वंस समटाइम्स इन एग्जाम्स इट विल बी डायरेक्टली आस्क विच वन विल बी थर्मोमीट्रिक प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ विच थर्मोमीटर आई थिंक आई शुड वी शुड गो ऑन सम क्वेश्चन सो डेट वी कम वी कैन क्लियरली see what is going on so i will take uh, a question mm, this is from pk nag book एग्जाम्पल टू पॉइंट टू ओके आई विल आज आई विल राइट दिस क्वेश्चन सो डेट यू विल नॉट फील एनी डिफिकल्ट थर्मोकोपल विच इन द टेस्ट जंक्शन एट टी डिग्री सेल्सियस ऑन गैस थर्मोमीटर स्केल and difference jumps at ice point is given by me equals to 0.2t minus 5 into 10 to minus 4 स्क्वायर मिली वोल्ट एंड इट इज आल्सो गिवन द मिली वोल्ट मीटर इज कैलिब्रेटेड at ice and steam points what will be the thermometer read in a place what will this thermometer read in a place where the gas thermometer reads at 15 degrees celsius so from the above question we have given that em of uh, e uh, one em of equations which is in relation with t 
and this T is temperature in gas thermometer. So, it is uh, said that uh, this uh, is calibrated at ice and steam points. So, we will count thermometric property reading at ice and steam points and with the help of this uh, uh, with the help of this thermometric property we will find the reading of that uh, thermometer thermocouple reading so it is shown that uh, given E is equals to 0 0.2 T minus 5 into 10 del minus 4 T square millivolt. Now at ice point, this T is gas thermometer reading. So in gas thermometer reading, uh, at ice point T is 0 degree Celsius T is 0 degree Celsius so EMF will be 0 millivolt now at a steam point E will be EMF will be 0 0.2 T into at a steam point we know that T is equals to 100 degree Celsius we want to 100 times minus 5 into 10 times minus 4 into 100 square millivolt and this will be come as this become uh, 15 millivolt now it is given that at uh, when uh, this gas thermometer is showing T is equals to 50 degrees Celsius then what will be thermocouple reading so first we will count that EMF at 50 degrees Celsius because this sorry, sorry, sorry. thermometric property is EMF and this become I think 8.75 millivolt now in above in theory I, I have tell you I have told you uh, triple point as a reference point but uh, uh, it may be changed in theory for theory you can remember that I uh, triple point of water is reference point but in questions uh, it there is no mention about uh, triple point and uh, you know, one thing is given at temperature equals to 100 degree Celsius thermometric reading thermometry property of the thermocouple is showing its reading about 15 millivolt at 100 degree Celsius thermometric property is 15 millivolt we are going to use this as our single reference point So we know that uh, theta is equal to like in this unit something like uh, x t into x we have read that ok so um, in the same form we can write it as um, we have to count theta that is temperature thermocouple reading it is 100 degree celsius and x t is uh, 15 millivolt at re sorry, 15 millivolt 
and we have to calculate at 8.75 millivolt reading this will come as 58.33 degrees Celsius have you understand that or um, I should ok I will repeat it again in question we have given a thermocouple gas thermometer and a thermocouple this thermocouple um, is uh, uh, calibrated at ice and steam points and uh, we have to find thermocouple reading at temperature 50 degree celsius so with the help of equation with the help of equation we found at t equals to 0 degree celsius and that is at ice points emf is 0 at a steam point emf is 15 volt at 50 degree celsius emf is 8.75 millivolt now in this question there uh, there is nothing mentioned there is nothing mentioned about uh, steam points uh, uh, sorry sorry triple points so we will not use it in the question we have given data to use our uh, to make our own reference point at 100 degrees celsius thermocouple read 15 volt so we will use it as uh, our reference point and we count our temperature I think you will be very much clear you are now very much clear about uh, this uh, temperature in thermodynamics question will be asked in the same manner please solve as much as you can from this topic this must uh, this theory is enough and I will upload little more questions about these topics